I was 14 when we first went in. My mom is not an inside person, so she would drink and, and go out and she, uh, she like wrecked our car with my little brother in the car and um, she was drunk. I later found out that what I was like stuffing into cars was, you know, heroin and marijuana and cocaine and drugs and abuse and, and uh, stress was, was normal. 11 kids, single parent, no money equals problems. So, um, I'm not sure how the social worker came, or the, um, but they came. I was about six. I think it was, what, what fourth grade, eight, nine. My dad always, you know, he, he gets really angry. He has one of those short tempers. All of a sudden, he just snapped <laughs> out of nowhere and started uh, physically abusing my mom. And he almost killed her. At five years old, you shouldn't be witnessing things like that. It's scary how close it is. Um, I do youth outreach in Huntington Beach and it doesn't matter what level the people are at in society. You think of poor people only having abuse and neglect and, and drug problems and whatnot and it's, it's everywhere. When you're going somewhere, it looks like you have a perfect family, but they say behind doors, you never know until you're there. It could happen to anybody, even to your best friend. You never know. You can look like you can look at anyone, and you do not know their background. You know, you don't know where they've been. You don't know where they've come from. They could be. They could have had it just as hard as you, or even worse, or you know, vice versa. You know, you never know. But it's definitely out there. I need people, I need help. Um, I can't do this on my own, I can't afford to go to school, I can't afford to make rent and work and, and have a life. So I, uh, that's when I called Orangewood. Because when I first came in here to Orangewood, I had no idea, I, I knew I wanted to go to college, but I had no idea how to even begin the process. They go through literally every single step with you until you get it done. I wanted to be a role model for my brothers and sisters because they're still in foster care. Since I am like the first to graduate from high school and first to go to college in my, literally in my whole family. Definitely the, the only one that got their high school diploma and then, uh, you know, definitely the only one that's gonna graduate anytime soon. I can do this now without my, my biological mom because I have a bunch of parents here. Growing up, you have an idea like, oh, go, go to school and work hard. Uh, but when you have a real life example talking to you and, and spending time with you, that's definitely one of the biggest upsides that I've had with the Resource Center is, is meeting my mentor. She's not just a mentor, she's more a figure of a mom that I never had. So she means like the world to me, you know. Most people, when you're going through foster care, you in and out of your life. But she's one of those people that, you know, has stuck around. Before Orangewood, I was dislocated. And I was incapacitated. I was completely like lost. I thought I, I was alone. I was still in the same mind frame of not liking Foster, being around foster youth. And after Orangewood, I am whole. I felt normal again. After Orangewood came into my life, I had a sense of direction. It's a different feeling. It's, 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 a, lot, it's a lot different. It's better now. Orangewood has helped me a lot. I feel like the, the hard work I put in with Orangewood's help is, is gonna get me a bachelor's degree from a private university. Like, I, I, am, I am so good. It's, it's unbelievable. Uh, the term I have is, it's stupid good. It's so good, it's, it's stupid. I don't get it. So, 
und schönes Geld.